David Hockney is a British artist. He's really famous for paintings of swimming pools, such as a painting called The Bigger Splash, which he did in California. You can see the big splash as somebody has jumped into that swimming pool and the lovely blues that he's used. In this painting, he tries to get the light reflecting onto the water. If you look closely at this water, you can see the reflection of the light with the light areas. So you can see a crisscross net pattern, which we're going to have in our work. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to use watercolors and chalk to create a nice swimming pool effect inspired by David Hockney. And we're gonna have our own figures lying on the top of the swimming pool water. You will need watercolour paper, watercolour paints, a big brush, a water pot, some chalk pastels and some pencil colours. Good luck! Begin by wetting your paintbrush, then dip it into the blue paint and start to spread it from left to right as if you're skating across the page from top to bottom so it starts to come down the page really smooth it along if you don't have enough water keep going back for more water and for more blue you can make it as blue as you like but just stroke softly across the page from top to bottom until you get all the way down to the page Don't forget to go back for more water every couple of strokes. The more water you add, the lighter the blue it will be. And the more paint you add with water, then the darker the blue is going to be. If you don't have enough water, it's not gonna stroke across the page very nicely. So it will feel a little bit dry as you go across. So add enough water and enough paint to go across the page. You can always practice putting too little water on or too much blue on and you can see how it feels on the page. It's best to experiment so then you can find out what's best for you and how you want your blue swimming pool to look. watercolour page to the side to dry because we're going to move on to making our figures. So you'll have a figure. These are different figures with different bright colour shorts and swimming hats on. You could do a girl or you could do a boy. It is up to you. Start by adding a swimming hat which looks like a big frown at the top of the head. And then you can start thinking, where would you like the shorts to be if you do shorts? And you can do like a smile line where you think it's just below the belly button. And then you can start thinking about what design would you like on your swimming trunks? Here, I'm gonna do some diagonal lines, to do some bright patterns. I'm using pinks and greens, but you can use whatever colors you want and you can have whatever you like on your swimming trunks and on your swimming hat. I've tried to match them. Make sure you've sharpened your colour pencils really well so you can go within the lines if you've drawn a pattern that you want to stay within. Remember, the harder you press, the darker and stronger the colour will be. The softer you press, the softer and lighter the colour will be.
chalk pastels. These can be quite dusty, so try not to blow them into the room. What I would like you to do is choose the colour that you want on your skin. It might be a pinky skin, it might be a dark brown skin, it's up to you. Here I'm going to use a soft brown skin, so then I'm going to use the corner of the chalk pastel to rub over all the areas of the skin, but trying not to get it on the shorts or on the swimming hat. By using the corner, then I can do, I can get into the areas of detail a little bit more just closer to the lines. Then I'm going to use my finger to smudge that chalk pastel so it looks a little bit softer and a little bit more like skin. You can also do the same with the legs. the chalk pastel if there's any areas that you want to rub out use a little tissue just to rub it out you can use the corner of the tissue now we're going to start using a white chalk pastel to create the reflections on the swimming pool water I'm just going to do a wiggly line diagonal lines you might want to go across the page it's up to you and then we're going to crisscross over them think about a net shape so a net that you might be catching fish in, or catching crabs in, that's the kind of shape that we're thinking about, where it crisscrosses and the lines aren't straight. So it really looks then like the sun is shining onto the water and you can see the ripples of the water. Once you're done, you can place your figure on the water and see what it looks like. finish much earlier than other people you might want to think about do you want a friend in the swimming pool perhaps you want another figure in the swimming pool with you perhaps it could be a brother a sister your mum or your dad and you can decorate their swimming costume and maybe you want a beach ball which you can decorate as well one thing we could add on to make it look more like a swimmer are some swimming goggles so you can add on some swimming goggles where the eyes would be. Think about the band that goes around swimming goggles. 